welcome to the sixth installment of the Mac Basics 101 tutorial series here at Apple Byte. Today we'll be talking about system preferences. System preferences is the central location for all of the settings that your computer uses. In order to open up system preferences, you can either click on the icon here in the dock, or you can go to the Apple at the top left corner of the screen and go down to the second option, system preferences. That'll open up your window. And you'll see, like I said, a centralized view of all of the settings used across your computer. Uh, this first row is for more of an appearance settings, choosing how it looks, how the menu bars look. Uh, the Apple gives you some control over how you want your computer to look. Um, some control over the dock, for example, how it looks, and, and some settings there, some language settings. Here is, you'll have your security settings which you can um, set your password and set some settings for your password. You'll notice that some of these settings are grayed out and there's a padlock here at the bottom left that is locked. You'll need to click on it and type in your user password in order to unlock those settings and then it gives you full access to decide what you want to change on your computer. Um, Here's uh, some other settings related to security, um, but we won't go into them here. Um, and it's, again, spotlight and notifications. This is more of an appearance, uh, how you want your computer to look and act. The second row is more for hardware. So you have your display. This is very useful if you connect an external display or you connect your computer to the TV. This is how you can make sure that it shows up properly on your other TV or monitor. This one is very useful for uh, laptops, energy saver, uh, in order to save your battery life. Your keyboard, mouse, trackpad, this is how you can control the sensitivity and the functions of each of these hardware. Uh, printers and scanner, pretty self-explanatory. And then sound is very useful when especially plugging in speakers. Here you can see it reacting to the microphone that I have plugged in for the input sound. But when you plug in your speakers, it'd be output. And your computer has built-in internal speakers. When you plug in a set of speakers, it'll show up here, um, giving you the option to select it. Um, selecting those other speakers will force the computer to send all sound out of your speakers. So for example, if you plug in your computer to your TV with, for example, an HDMI cord, you'll need to tell your computer if you want the sound to come out of your computer or if you want the sound to come out of the TV. And so this is the menu that you'll choose all those preferences. Going back out to system preferences, we're on the third row here. This is more for your networking options, your internet connectivity, your Bluetooth. These are more uh, settings that more advanced users will use. The average user will not use these too often. Of note though, here is uh, your iCloud account. If you use iCloud through Apple, um, I'll likely have other videos about iCloud itself. I'm not a huge fan, but I know some people do find great value in using iCloud. As well, internet accounts, you can add your email address, your Facebook accounts, various different accounts, and have it sync up to your computer, give you notifications to your computer, um, etc. Down here in the fourth is more of a miscellaneous row. Most important of note is the users and groups. This is where you can create new user accounts. You can um, manage your password. Again, here you have to hit the, the padlock to unlock certain settings here. And I'll just note this item right here, login items. This is actually a very useful tool when um, troubleshooting your computer. I'll talk about that in other videos as well. Back out to system preferences. Um, the other one of note here on this row is time machine. Um, this is how you can set up with an external hard drive, set up to have your computer backed up regularly. And uh, then you can go and browse different versions of your computer back an hour ago, a day ago, a week ago, and see what files were like a week ago and restore those files. Say if you made a change in the last week to a certain document and you, you then realize you wish you hadn't, you can go back a week and choose that week old version. And then here on the bottom, you may or may not have any um, options for this last row, 
This is where any third-party applications will install their settings for your computer. Very common ones would be Flash Player, it's Adobe Flash, and then Java. Those are two um, common settings that you'll find here in System Preferences. And uh, yeah, that is System Preferences. is very useful. There's a lot of settings in here. It's good to go through uh, and customize your computer how you want it. Also, a lot of troubleshooting will come to System Preferences using this panel. Leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see in this tutorial series and go ahead and subscribe for more Mac related videos. I'll be doing troubleshooting videos, how-to videos, and more of these tutorial videos. Thanks and I'll talk to you in the next one.